What does it take for a 55-year-old man to seek isolation on top of a rock? To remove himself from everyday life. For Father Maxime Kavteradze, it wasn't his choice, but God's. For the last 13 years, he's been rebuilding this monastery, winching every stone by hand. But Father Maxime is not the first one to set foot on this rock. His predecessor died up here sheltering from the elements 500 years ago. His sacred bones are still treasured. I want to stay here, he says. I'm still waiting for the blessing from the head of the Orthodox Church. Some years ago he told me to wait, but recently the Patriarch came here and blessed it. I don't think he's against the idea of me staying here anymore. If Father Maxime is allowed to stay here, he will be emulating the ascetic monks of Greece, among the first Christians to seek this sort of clifftop solitude more than one and a half thousand years ago. But in Georgia, he's one of many for whom the Orthodox faith is increasingly important. There's no doubt that Father Maxime has found his solitude up there, but in another sense he's not alone. This is just one of 450 churches and monasteries that have been rebuilt in the last few years with government money. Just another sign of the incredibly swift renaissance of the Orthodox Church here. Tom Esselmont, BBC News, in Chatura.